One polling stations. Mm. So we'll also say that uh, fitness to allow the midday voting is mm. It's also good to mention that. Mm. <laughs> Oh. 
Um, you okay? Yeah. Good. Uh, well, uh, let me talk about uh, the incident that took place yesterday at uh, Kabale uh, polling station that is uh, within South Game uh, Ward, where we, we were having uh, an MCS election. Uh, this election uh, was supposed to have been carried out in uh, August, but due to the uh, death of one of uh, the contestants, it meant that uh, the election needed to be uh, suspended as per the law. Now, regarding yesterday, uh, I would want to say this. Uh, violence was witnessed at uh, Kabale polling station that was allowed midday as voting was going on. When police moved in to secure the polling station, um, we were able to discover a vehicle, a saloon car, that has already been detained at Akara police station. Inside the police car, sorry, inside the saloon car, are some 11 buttons, Olungu, were found in there. The two individuals were arrested. And uh, this morning they have been appearing at um, border law courts. Uh, we expect to have some more arrests in regard to that violence that took place yesterday. Um, additionally, uh, we also want to appeal to the people, the people of CIA and the country at large, and remind the people that uh, uh, a voting process is supposed to be a peaceful exercise where the cooperation and support of everyone is required. A voting is about the expression of the will of the people. So anytime we have a few individuals that would want uh, to run away from that or distort that, the message is going to be very clear. And the message is that the law must take its course. It's regrettable what happened yesterday because we had uh, seven motor vehicles being stoned at a single uh, polling station, Kambare. Out of 41 polling stations, we had uh, seven people that were seriously injured. They are being attended to at uh, Mbodo Subcounty Hospital. So, uh, additionally, I would also want to say that other than for the two individuals that have already been taken to court this morning and the recovery of the exhibits, these were exhibits that clearly were intended to be used for uh, violent activities, uh, we expect to have more arrests and give a very firm commitment that uh, any of the peoples, any of the individuals that would want to distort the law, interfere with uh, an important exercise that, as this, will be dealt with uh, very, very firmly. Uh, exactly. Uh, there is always the cooperation between uh, our colleagues and uh, the intelligence that we have points to uh, some individuals that came from uh, across our county, our neighboring county. So we are not going to leave anything until uh, this whole saga is dealt with once and for all. Because the rule of the law must prevail. When we had this uh, by election yesterday, sorry, when we had this election yesterday, uh, it must be pointed out that uh, this was a very, very important exercise. It was going on very, very peacefully until uh, uh, probably a few uh, selfish individuals, for whatever selfish interests, decided to distort this process. Because out of 41 polling stations, only one polling station was, was affected. 
at the appeal to the people of Sierra, the appeal to the people of Game, and anyway in this country, is that the law must prevail. And we must get the cooperation and support of the people themselves for police to actualize and carry out their mandates. We have to work together, we have to get the support and the cooperation because without that, we are not able to do much. It's going to be chaos, it's going to be violence, but we are determined to stamp this one out. Thank you.